We're back and it's part two of our 2022 Skidoo Summit Turbo Builds and we're on our way to Bikeman Performance this morning to tackle what's under the hood of these bad boys. We are stoked about this. As you guys know, we, uh, we worked with Bikeman pretty closely last year to uh, help develop and uh, dial in their stage two uh, torqueling tune and this year we're picking up where we left off as far as that goes and adding a little bit more. So needless to say, I think the hands are going to be bleeding after the first ride, uh, just judging at the power that we think these things are going to put down. So yeah, we're stoked. Uh, it's been a long time since we've toured the Bikeman facility, so to see it in uh, full swing this time of the year, fired up to uh, see the Bikeman team, and then not too long from now, we'll be getting these things on the snow and seeing what they do. But for right now, we just loaded up the sleds on the Duradac at trackside. We've got about a three and a half hour drive ahead of us. Uh, mandatory quick trip stop most likely. <laughs> yep. Uh, but uh, then we'll pick up where we left off on the sled builds. So here we go, you guys. I said it's an everyday thing. Oh yeah, every single morning. This place is busy. Place to be at 8 a.m. on a Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday, right? Yeah. Guy, we made it. We did it. It was a drive, but it's gonna be well worth it. Oh man, this place is sick. It's time to bring our slides inside, though, and go inside and say what up to everyone. And uh, yeah. Let's check it out. Check it out. She's in the air. Don't drop her. <laughs> All right, well, here we are at Bikeman Performance. We're here with Farmer, who's uh, going to be going under the hood, under the knife on the Energy 51 sled. And then Shannon's over here working on Dylan's Huckleberry Rush. We've got all kinds of parts to install today. Um, Farmer, is this a stage two or a stage this three? Is stage two. Okay. The stage two bolt-on performance kit uh, comes with a Y-pipe pipe. pipe. Uh, you guys are going to be getting a uh, charge tube also, and then clutching. So sweet. Pretty sweet too, you guys. All right. Well, where should we get started? Probably pulling the hood yeah, off, we'll huh? Started uh, tearing this part. We need some goodies. Okay. So we are going to weigh the stock exhaust components compared to the Bikeman exhaust components. Um, this should be really cool to see because, look at that. So we got zeroed out scale, the muffler, pipe, we'll try to balance all this on here, and then the Y pipe, make a tower of exhaust parts here. We're at 31. 31 on the button. Wow. Now we'll take. It's going to be some easy math. So what's your guess? It's what do you off. think? What do you think it's gonna be? I bet it's. I bet it always 15 pounds. Okay. So almost 15 pound difference. I've, it's gotta be close. 15. I'm gonna go 18 and a half. 18 and a half for everything. Joey, what's your guess? I'm guessing we're. What's the ball on play? Okay. Nine and a half pounds of weight that's, savings. That's so Jack's sled is pretty under the knife right now, but mine is making a little bit more progress. Uh, Shan's been going hard at it. We already got the pipe off. Um, he's working on getting the primary and secondary off. And, uh, and then we're gonna do some clutching. So it's not taking long. These guys are definitely uh, well versed in working on these skidoos. So um, yeah, not too much longer and we will have some bling under the hood. recommend removing this. This is a little bit of a bugger to get out of here. Uh, just, just to ensure you don't beat this gasket up. Yeah, already did that a little bit. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, definitely. We definitely aren't loud can guys by any means, but uh, 
I don't know. This, this, this turbo can isn't that loud. No, and it's not. It's not designed to be loud. It's not like a race can. It's just right. their turbo can. Right. So yeah, I mean, uh, having this uh, on our sled this year, I instantly lose like eight to ten pounds probably, mm -hmm. which is substantial. Yeah. Last year we ran the stock cans because honestly we hate loud cans, and yeah. we wanted to see what the lightning can was like on the snow first. And uh, we were around it a bunch. Decided that this year it's totally worth it. It's not that loud, and uh, you know, there's nothing worse than giving your buddy a ski pole when he's got like just some competition can or something. It just, just destroys your yeah. ears. <laughs> I've done enough hearing damage to myself already. So. <laughs> Same. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, we got the exhaust just about pulled off. I think Farmer's working on the Y pipe right now. Yeah, a little bit ahead Shannon's of us. Making some serious progress. Ripping. Yeah. All right, now that we've got the charge tube back in place, we're gonna go ahead and start on the clutch kit part of this before we get everything else buttoned back up in this. Come on. These things are gonna be so badass at the end of the day. Yeah. Do you know what position it's on? I believe it's on three. I it's on four. Oh, no, it's on four. So, one of the differences between Dylan and I's sleds this year um, being the X and the expert is mine has the remote adjustable limiter strap which Giddy came out with a few years ago and his doesn't. Yep. Um, so we're going to play around with that a bit this season um, as far as limiter strap setup goes as it relates to the Raptor Ace. Didn't really do much of that until the spring of last year. Yeah. Um, so that's one difference between these sleds that we're going to be comparing this year. Find instructions, go to the Skidoo E-Tech 850, and we are doing the stage two, so we're gonna take a small and a medium and run that into the weight. And we'll show you where to set it here as soon as we get back over to the station. We're gonna run the medium down first, and then the short one second, and they should be about flush with the top of the tread. We're gonna have about one thread showing when we have the setup done right. Be a tiny bit too far, so I'm gonna back it out just a little bit. Well, that is the way to do it. Yeah, we're doing all this stuff manually. <laughs> yeah, even after riding, you know, every day, you still get an arm pump after doing no. that. Made in Austria. The imports. We're whipping the foreign. Whipping the foreign. Yep. <laughs> we were fortunate to ride with our buddy Jared Sessions a bunch last season and learned a ton about clutching. I mean, it's such a complex subject. Essentially the most complex <laughs> subject in tuning a snowmobile, your clutching. Between what we're doing right now with the primary weights um, and where that weight is positioned um, made a huge difference in how these turbos respond, uh, especially when you couple it with a gearing change or a secondary change like we did at the end of the season with Helix and the springs there. So, uh, very complex subject and we're continuing to learn more and more, but that's how you learn is by trying new things yeah. and taking note of what happens. With Spikeman's development of their whole uh, clutch chart and elevations and springs and, and, and weights and, and how you position the weight in there, um, it changes the game for how to set up your clutching uh, according to kits you buy. Yeah, it does. And with these weights too, you can make changes on the mountain pretty right. easily, which is nice. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend keeping track uh, in a journal even, writing it down on your phone, um, the changes that you're making, and try to only make one change at a time, that way you can pinpoint exactly what that change is doing. Well, looks like a uh, farmer is giving your clutch a little shine over there. Alright, sweet, so we're just about done with the primary then, <laughs> and uh, we'll move on to the secondary. Alright, basically, we have uh, kind of made this custom secondary tool for uh, compressing the sheaves on there. She will never be this clean again. Ooh, look at that. Stainless. You gonna fire up the hot dogger? What you gonna cook? I don't know, man. Might have to uh, get into like our own recipe book, start our own line of recipes, Boondock Nation Specialty Yes, recipes. yes. Alright, 
moment of truth. Uh, sled is back together, tuned. Um, first start of the new Bikeman Stage 2 kit. Better start mine. Yeah, <laughs> well, we didn't get to throw the slugs on the dyno, unfortunately. Joey's just slammed in there. Yeah. Um, I was really looking forward to seeing what these things put down on the dyno, so that's over, but. It is what it is. It is. We can't complain too much. We'll just have to test for ourselves that these things are making the power that they should be. Yep. Um, Bikeman Stage 2 install went super smooth. Uh, one little hiccup with Dill's sled, but other than that, um, we are leaving here with some pretty badass snowmobiles. Yeah. Needless to say, we are stoked. The most badass sleds we've ever had. So, um, yeah, that's a wrap for uh, our Bikeman Stage 2. Uh, kits on our sleds. Yeah, up next we are heading to Idaho for the winter and uh, We'll be putting the first miles of the season on these things. Hopefully we get some snow coming here soon Nothing else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff And we will see you on the next video Come on. Come on.